Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the components at each pin. First, we'll draw the free body diagram of member AC. The weight of the cylinder is 80 pounds, so the reactions along the cables are also 80 pounds. Point A is a roller, so there's one support perpendicular to the surface. Point B is a pin, so there are both X and Y components. Member CD is a two-force member, which means we can condense the support reactions into one force. Next, we'll solve for the angle between force CD and member AC. To do this, we can apply the alternate angles rule, drawn in orange. Taking the inverse tangent of the given side lengths gives us that this angle is 33.69 degrees. Now we'll take the moment about point B. First, we need to identify certain lengths that will be used as lever arms later on. We're given that the distance from D to C is 6 feet, while the distance from E to B is 3 feet. Taking the difference between these two lengths gives us the distance from B to C, which is 3 feet. We're given the radius of the wheel, which is 1 foot, so we know that the distance from C to the edge of the wheel is 2 feet. Now we write an equation for the moment about point B. Only the Y component of force CD will create a moment about point B since the X component passes through B, so we will only focus on the sine component of this force. Similarly, FAX and the reactions at B will not generate a moment about point B. We get the following equation, which when simplified, gives that FCD equals negative 192 pounds. So, the magnitude is 192 pounds. The negative sign means that the force actually points in the opposite direction to the one that we assumed, so we have to flip it in our diagram. Next, we'll take the sum of vertical forces in order to find FBY. This includes the sine component of the force CD. Remember that this force is now pointing upwards, so it will be positive. Isolating for FBY, we get that it equals 26.5 pounds. Because we know FCD, we can find the reactions at pin C. The Y component is the sine of FCD, which equals 107 pounds. The X component is the cosine of FCD, which equals 160 pounds. Because member CD is a two-force member, this means that the reaction forces at D are the same as the reactions at C. Next, we'll draw the free body diagram for member EB. As previously determined, the force along the cable is 80 pounds. At E and B, there are pins, so we will draw both X and Y components. Now we'll take the moment about point E. We can set up the following equation, and since we have already found the value for FBY, we can isolate the equation to solve for FBX. The result is 80 pounds. Then we'll take the sum of forces in the horizontal direction. Since we now know the value of FBX, we can isolate this equation for FEX. The result is zero pounds. Next, we'll take the sum of vertical forces. Since we know the value of FBY, we can isolate this equation for FEY. The result is 26.5 pounds. Now we'll move back to member AC. We have now solved for all the values we need to find FAX. If we take the sum of horizontal forces, we can isolate the resulting equation for FAX. The result is 160 pounds. And there you have it. Quick statics answers.